through Jesus Christ. Nothing else can save your soul but the blood of Jesus. Have you been to Calvary where Jesus suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures? That's God approved. God doesn't approve when you think you can save your soul. If you can save yourself, then why did Jesus go to Calvary? Why is there the story of God manifesting the flesh? Powerful, powerful. Gracious Jesus. What a beautiful day. Thank you, brother. Amen. The Bible says in Psalm 118, verse 24, For this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Rachel. Rachel. Today is still the day of salvation. And salvation is free. You don't have to pay anything to make peace with Jesus. You don't have to spend money to become a child of God. Amen. The Lamb of God, slain from before the foundation of the world, paved the way for sinners. Today is your day. Amen. If you hear the Lord is calling you, do not turn your back on Him. Amen. Because you will regret. Oui. Judgment day is at hand. The Lord Jesus Christ is returning. He is coming again a second time. Jesus is not coming as the Savior, but He is coming as judge. He is coming as King of Kings and Lord of Lords to judge the wicked. Today is your day. Today is your day. All you need to do is to surrender your life to Jesus. That's all you need to do. Amen. Surrender your life to Jesus. Jesus loves you more than you love yourself. The Bible says in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You see, every human being is on his way to the lake of fire. But Jesus came to make an exchange. Hello? Jesus came to offer everlasting life. Because the unsaved are on the way to the lake of fire forever. That is the second death. Amen. Right, brother? That is the second death. Believe me, you do not want to die without making peace with Jesus. You do not want to die without confessing your sins to the Prince of Peace. You see this book? This book is the Bible. It is the infinite wisdom of God. The Word of God. The Bible says in the beginning, this is John chapter 1 verse 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, Amen. and the Word was God. When you go down to verse 14, what does it say? It says that the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. That is the Lord Jesus Christ, right? Amen. Believe me, Jesus is the Word of God. He is eternal God. He is the way, the truth, and the life. You do not want to die without knowing where you're going forever. Thank you, Lord. Your final destination. Today is still the day of salvation. And salvation is free. What is salvation? Salvation is freedom from the lake of fire. Many people don't believe. Many people don't believe. It is not all about the flesh. Today is the first day of the week. It is the Lord's day. Isn't it? 
It is the Lord's day. It is a time to come together and worship the king. Because the king wakes everyone up every day. You better believe it before you die. Because if you don't, you will regret. And it will be too late for you when you are in the lake of fire. Amen. But the love of God, the unconditional love of God, made it possible for Jesus to take upon himself the form of a human being and came down here to save sinners. Amen. If you haven't made peace with Jesus, today is your day. Amen. The Bible that you have at home, it is your best friend. The Bible is the perfect justice of God. It is the infinite wisdom of God. The word of God will judge you at the last day. Now is the time to humble yourself. Now is the time to say, Lord Jesus, please, I am powerless. I need your help today because tomorrow may not be yours you only have today Amen. because every human being is one breath away from the grave you better believe it every human being is one breath away from the grave if you are to die today without making peace with jesus you hate yourself now is the time to step back and reassess your life. You don't have forever. Remember that Jesus woke you up this morning.